David's F80 again. <laughs> Shout out to the homie David. I'll leave his Instagram right here. Go give David a follow if he has like F80 content. I'm trying to make him post more. He needs to post more on Instagram, but we're in David's F80 again. He let me use it for a video. I know a lot of you guys love the F80 content. I know a lot of you guys love the BMW content. And trust me, I do too. I asked him to let me drive the car because you guys know I've been wanting to get an F80 soon. I'm in the like market looking for them, bro. Every single day, I'm on Instagram, on Facebook Marketplace, on CarGurus, Cars.com, everything you can think of looking for an F80 M3 and I cannot find the perfect one. I don't wanna just settle, I wanna find one that I love. Just like when I got the GTR. I found the perfect GTR before I got one. Um, and I'm actually glad I didn't settle. I almost got like a really ugly GTR <laughs> and I'm glad I waited and took a little longer. But yeah, same for the F80. Like I don't wanna just settle and get into any F80. I wanna wait till I find the perfect one. I really want a stick shift. I wouldn't really mind a DCT, but I really, really want stick shift. And obviously I need the carbon fiber roof and red interior, but the black interior is pretty cool too. Anyways, I'm looking for an F80 guys. In the meantime, we're gonna make a video with the homie David's F80. This thing is beautiful. It's a 2016, I believe. Austin yellow F80, as you guys can see the hood. This car is super, super dirty. I think I might spray it down for him right now and get it all washed because it's super dirty. I feel like I'm always washing David's car. I think this is what I did last time. <laughs> we're gonna get his car all clean. Just make a little point of view video for you guys. I know a lot of you guys missed the point of view videos. This is like my old content right here, bro. BMW dash with a POV video. <laughs> Just like old times, bro. Before we get into the video, smash the like button for me. Subscribe to the channel if you guys are not already. Hit that subscribe button down below. I'm trying to hit 150,000 subscribers and we are almost there, guys. And also, comment down below, should I get an F80? I know a lot of you guys are gonna say yes. <laughs> and if so, what color should I get? And should I get a stick shift or manual? That's the question I'm asking today. All right, we're gonna get this thing all cleaned up because it's super dirty. Make it look all nice. I don't know what we're gonna do today, but I wanna just drive the F80 around, see how I like it. Um, this one's DCT, obviously, so I'm gonna drive it around, see if I like the DCT, or if I wanna go with the stick shift. The reason why I wanna do stick shift, because I already had this DCT E92, as you guys know, and I had the E92 for like five years, so I already had like a DCT for five years straight. I kinda want something different, like stick shift. But you can't go wrong with DCT either. It's super fun, super fast and it's it drives pretty good honestly david there's no way you're driving around like this bro <laughs> me and david own the detailing business and our cars are so dirty <laughs> how is that even possible bro <laughs> look at this oh my god david she looks like fireworks but she hasn't watched this shit since fourth of july probably which is not good verifying card I'm about to get denied no money bro all right first what i like to do is uh we'll use this a little foam at these car washes i don't like touching the paint guys so you're not gonna see me use that thing we're just gonna foam it real quick we're just gonna what the is that this one and then we'll spray it down with like water and soap what the bro i think that's the f80 making that noise All right, we're gonna use the high pressure soap. Five dollars. It's not bad for a five dollar car wash. Way cleaner. There's a little bit of water on it still, but we can air dry it. We just gotta drive a little fast so we can air dry it. <laughs> Sheesh. I really want this car, guys. I've always been a huge fan of F80s. Like, coming from an E92, I mean, you guys know, I've had M3s, like, almost all of them. <laughs> Thank you, bro. <laughs> Thanks, bro, I just picked it up. See, so, yeah, like, I've owned almost all the M3s, so I've got to experience them all, and I think M3s are just so sick, bro. The way they're built, the way they are, like, the presence that they carry, too. Everyone knows what an M3 is. I had the E36 M3, the E46 M3, the E92 M3, and all I'm missing is the F80 M3, and now the G80 M3, obviously, but, the F80 M3 is the car that I've always wanted. I've said this in a previous video, but before I got the GTR, it was either between an F80 M3 or a GTR. And I had to choose between the two and it was so hard to pick. I chose the GTR obviously, but now I really want an F80. I've had the GTR for like two years now, guys. I know it doesn't seem like it. Time goes by so fast, bro. Like life goes by so fast, but not that I'm tired of the GTR, but 
I do want the F80 for business purposes, obviously for the YouTube channel, to help the YouTube channel grow again. All that stuff grow again, you know, because I have a lot of BMW fans and the BMW community is huge. BMW content does way better than my GTR content. And then second, I feel like an F80 is a lot more fun than a GTR. I know a lot of people would disagree to that, but think about it guys, the GTR is fun. It's super fast, it beats a lot of cars. I'll smoke this F80, but it's not, like it only goes in a straight line, bro. That's all you can do. You can step on it in a straight line, you can do a rolling anti-lag, you can launch it, and that's about it. This car, we can go sideways, we can step on it, we can go in a straight line, we can go in the canyons, we can drift it, we can take it to the drift track, do a fat ass burnout. Just so fun that it's rear wheel drive and it has a lot of torque. I don't know, just my thoughts. I want both of them, realistically. And I'm gonna try to get both, guys. That's the goal, but we'll see. Oh, shit. <laughs> you know you gotta drive with the traction off. I think it's already off. I do it. Guys, these cars have hella torque. David's car is pretty much stock, I think. I think it has like a muffler. I think it's stock overall. And this thing has hella torque. Like, I can't even imagine a full bolt on one. <laughs> it literally breaks loose so easy. What is that little IS? Uh, that's what they call it, right? IS? -s? Louder, bro. It's really hard to hear. Like you can't hear nothing. You just do a prank and his muffler delete it. <laughs> just take off David's exhaust for a video and see what he says. This car is very fast for it being stock. <laughs> It's not bad at all. They're fun, dude. If you guys have never driven an F80 before, drive one. You won't regret it. You know the sound of these cars aren't the best, but the way they drive, the way they handle, the torque that it has, like, it's so fun, bro. The E92, it was the best sound, right? But like the driving wise, it was just way too slow. This power is what I wish the E92 had, honestly. <laughs> I'm gonna show you guys the torque, watch. Just look how much this thing spins. <laughs> Probably better with the windows up, huh? other way I feel like if I had this car I would go through tires every single day bro <laughs> it's just so addicting bro to like whip it it's obviously my car, so I don't want to push it too much, but... Dude, if this is my car, you guys know I'd be freaking swinging it every corner. <laughs> that's a little tunnel. I think there's a tunnel coming up. Was that Z01? Fast guys. I'm not sure if the F80 could beat that, but <laughs> my GTR would. Yeah, those are sick. Oh, there's a cop. I'm not sure if I want to go that way. <laughs> oh, the cop's right there. This is the tunnel I wanted to go through. <laughs> I can't even step on it, bro. Damn it. <laughs> that 
was the tunnel I wanted to go to and the cop was right there. Alright guys, I posted this on Instagram. I said, ask me some questions. I'm filming a YouTube video. So I'm going to answer some questions on the vlog right now. Oh my god, there's a lot of questions. <laughs> Look at this. The list goes on, bro. I'm going to just go through these as fast as I could. Read some of these really quick. My brother. Not a question. Just want to say all your cars are trash. Okay, Alex. <laughs> That's my little brother. Who's your idol? Kevin asked. <laughs> my idol is you, Kevin. You're my idol, bro. I look up to you. I want to paint my GTR orange so bad. You're my idol, bro. Favorite memory? Um, off the top of my head, since we're talking about cars, maybe just going to... When I went to Utah to pick up my GTR with my dad. It was just me and my dad. We flew all the way to Utah, and then we drove my GTR back. And he drove my GTR halfway back. It was pretty cool. It was a pretty cool experience. And we would drove by like Vegas, do like the Utah canyons, and it was pretty fun. We definitely gotta do another road trip again, huh? I gotta tell my dad, let's do another road trip, bro. Let's go pick up an F80 now. <laughs> when are you bringing the GTR to Fresno? I don't know, bro. I've had bad luck in Fresno. <laughs> the one time I took my GTR out there to Fresno, I got pulled over for going 108, I think. <laughs> Shout out to Ticket Dismissers because he got that ticket dismissed. And we are good. <laughs> Why the uploads on Nick and Emily stop? They didn't stop. I just need to hurry up and stop being lazy. That's what I need to do because it's very hard running two YouTube channel, guys. I'm filming and editing both videos and it's pretty freaking hard. Shout out to Emily though. She's doing a real good job like helping me film and getting really good at vlogging too. I mean, Emily was not a vlogger, guys. I've been doing this for like five years, you know, so... I'm a little experienced, even though I still get shy at times, but she's, this is all brand new to her, so shout out to Emily. She's doing a real good job on the vlog channel. Maybe I just need to teach her how to edit, huh? So she can help us push out more videos. Because <laughs> I'm always editing these videos, so it's, it's kind of hard to do both, but we're making it happen. When are you coming to South Africa? I know I have a hella big fan base in South Africa. I see it all the time. Shout out to South Africa right now. Bro, I see so many South Africa comments all the time, bro. So shout out to all you guys. I do want to make a trip out there soon. I think that'll be super fun. When are you buying a truck? If so, what truck do you want? I do want a truck. I've always wanted a big truck. Like always, bro. My dream truck would be like a big ass dually, lifted, <laughs> like a big truck, you know, diesel. But for more like fun purposes, probably like a Raptor or something. So I can take it off roading, have fun in it. I still want a Gladiator. I know a lot of you guys remember when I used to want one of those. I still do. The only reason I didn't buy one is because like gas got crazy expensive. And I'd be spending so much money on gas, but how are the businesses going? So as you guys know, I do the Central Auto Spa with the homie David. That thing's been good, bro. We've been hella busy washing hella cars, detailing hella cars. That's going good. The homie David's been killing it. I think vinyl too. I haven't really been focusing on the rap stuff in a while, but I still do rap, so if you guys want to rap, we can still get them done, distinct final. But I'm not really like pushing that. I'm really trying to focus on opening another business. <laughs> I want to do something else, guys. I'm trying to think of something. I have a lot of thoughts and ideas. For now, Essential Auto Spa is running super good. Um, Distinct Vinyl is pretty good. And um, also the Finding Nick business, selling all the merch and stuff like that. I appreciate you guys. What has been your favorite car to build? I mean, probably my E46, guys. The E46 was so much fun. Just the body style is beautiful, bro. I've always been a fan of E46s. It took a long time to build, but it was fun. A lot of memories. I mean, Sam, all those guys. I know I get a lot of questions what happened to 412. I don't really want to get too much into it. All I know is, all I'm going to say is I got a lot of love for Sam, Charles, Carlos. <laughs> you guys know, bro, like, I helped that shop so much. And um, I don't know, people bump heads sometimes. kind of sucks. Business sucks, bro. A lot of businesses that you guys know in my past have flopped because of relationships with friends and stuff like that. And it sucks when friends get in the middle of business, you know? And it ruins friendships, but... All I'm gonna say is I, no hate against anybody. <laughs> um, and yeah, yeah, the E46 came out sick. We did a collab with them, and that car is my favorite build, bro. That was so much fun, and still my favorite car to drive to this day. Every time I drive that car, I have so much adrenaline. Like my body's shaking, dude. Any goals for this year? Um, I don't know, guys. My goal right now is just to pretty much succeed, bro. Do better on my YouTube channels push more content out on both Nick and Emily and the Finding Nick channel. Try to grow those channels as much as I can, you know. Um, another goal is trying to do at least two more merch drops by the end of the year. Hopefully cop an F80 by the end of the year too. I really want an F80. Um, and also, like I said, focus on that another business that I've been wanting to start. If you got granted 10 million, how would you spend it? Um, 
10 million is a lot of money, bro. I have to get me an SVJ. <laughs> I'm sorry, but I have to do it. SVJ, probably like a million dollars right now, so I still got 9 million. Maybe give like 5 million to my mom and dad. <laughs> that leaves me with another 4 million. Probably get like a big ass house that costs a couple million, paid off. SVJ paid off, and you know, I'll be set like that, bro. I have like another million to uh, invest in something else. <laughs> <laughs> invest to make another 10 million bro any tips for beginners i want to be an automotive youtuber um i think just biggest thing bro just stay consistent post as much videos as you can stay consistent and um i don't know for me what really worked for me is honestly these videos right here point of view videos i think is like it was the wave i don't know about now but we're gonna experience it on today's video the biggest thing is just staying consistent and posting youtube content stop worrying and don't worry about the views either like don't worry about the views the subscribers the money like just post for the fun of it if you start thinking about the money it starts getting not too fun anymore bro um, trust me what made you do youtube um honestly i've always been into photography videos always been into videography my whole life oh my god bro i've always been into videos my entire life i even went to college for uh videography and like editing and stuff like that. So I've always been into that kind of stuff. I met the homie John Hicks. You guys all know John Hicks. He's a big YouTuber in the BMX scene. He came good homies and he always told me like, bro, start posting YouTube videos. I was already going to like a lot of car events, you know? And he was like, why are you not filming this, bro? You're already going to the events. Just start filming it. So that's what I did. So that's what I recommend to you guys too. You guys are going to car meets anyways. Just pick up a camera and start vlogging. You're already there. Might as well do something uh, productive, you know, while you're at the car meet. Let's go through it one more time. <laughs> this guy's trying to get emily mad look at if you were single you'd think your car would pull girls <laughs> asking to get your girl mad <laughs> emily's gonna beat you up bro she's gonna beat both of us up she's gonna kill both of us <laughs> i don't know i feel like honestly to be quite honest the gtr is not pulling no girls bro the gtr is a guy magnet like everywhere you go all it's gonna be is a bunch of guys coming up to you saying sick gtr bro <laughs> If you want to pull girls, don't get a GTR, guys. <laughs> Would you get a muscle car at all? Probably a Corvette, maybe. Like, if I was going to get a muscle car, probably like a C6, Z06 would be sick. Oh, my God. This car is so fun. In the second, when you go from first to second, this shit spins crazy. Watch. Oh my god, bro. scared me bro <laughs> I thought he was coming after me there's another one bro I swear I thought we were done David damn they're going somewhere bro I thought that was on me bro I thought I was getting pulled over for sure all right I was gonna go like do some donuts in the F80, but I don't know, those cops kind of sketch me out. It's not my car, guys. I don't want to get it impounded. I don't want to get a ticket, and I don't want to mess up these tires or crash the car. So we're probably going to end the video right there. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Pretty cool little chill video. Nothing too crazy. If you guys got any cool like YouTube videos I could do with David's car, comment down below until I get my own. <laughs> Smash the like button for me. Subscribe to the channel if you guys are not already. And I'll see you guys in the next video, hopefully in an F80 soon. Uh, <laughs> I might sip out this bottle until it get hollow Shit, I might sip out this bottle just drowning my sorrows Drowning my sorrows, be better tomorrow Cause these broken dreams is as hard as it gets My nigga died at only 25, I'm thanking God for letting me see